Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hidayatullah with another new video. In this video, I am going to discuss about slum value of concrete for different concrete works. Okay, I mean how to look at the slum value for different concrete work. In this video, I am going to discuss about that. So if you are new to my channel, you can watch our previous video. Uh, already have dis uh, discussed about any civil engineering basic topic in my previous video and also they have many software related video that are really uh, required for a civil engineer so you can watch that so let's uh, start so slum below of concrete for different concrete works at the concrete mix and slum range in millimeters so our slum range will be in millimeter so for columns and retaining walls our slime value should be 75 millimeter to 150 millimeter 75 millimeter to 100 50 millimeter for columns and retaining walls this is a suitable value for column works I mean for column concrete and retaining all concrete I mean uh, actually for uh, the member of comp compression column is a compression uh, uh, retaining all is also a compression member so for that uh, we have to pro uh, we have to maintain the slum range in 75 to 150 millimeter then for beams and slab for beams and slab they uh, carry load and vertical load they carry vertical load and uh, its value should be 50 to 100 millimeter 50 to 100 millimeters for beams and slabs our slum value should be 50 to 100 millimeter for beam and slab then cc pavement okay cement concrete pavements for cement concrete pavement uh, the slum value should be 20 to 20 uh, 20 to 30 millimeter okay 20 to 30 millimeter for cc pavement i mean cc means concrete uh, cement concrete pavement okay so for that we will provide 20 to 30 millimeter of our slump and for deck of breeze for deck of breeze our slum rest should be 30 to 75 millimeter 30 to 70 5 millimeter for deck of bridge then vibrate concrete i mean uh, where our uh, construction i mean uh, our structure will go under vibrate every time okay so there our slum below should be 12 to 25 millimeter 12 to 25 millimeter i mean where our structure will go under vibrate i mean concrete structure suppose uh, a breeze or uh, suppose a, a structure where uh, some meshing will place and it will always vibrate so in that place our slum range will be 12 to 25 millimeter and uh, huge mass construction I mean where the our construction is a mm, for uh, like a mega project or uh, there the construction mass I mean the construction will be huge mass okay so uh, I mean uh, it will be a big project and also its mass will be also very huge so there we have to maintain our slum value is 25 to 50 millimeter 25 to 50 millimeter and uh, one thing just I want to tell you that uh, suppose uh, if you notice that when we work for our a building or for construction work then we maintain uh, same slum value for columns beam and slab column beam and slab so why we do that because um, we take some ready mix um, and we pump it through uh, I mean we pump it through a machine pumping machine and then we cast that but how we do that or why we do that cause uh, if we notice uh, see here the slum range for column is 75 to 150 meter uh, in this range we can maintain any range okay and for beam and slum it's 50 to 100 suppose now if we consider our uh, slum value will be 90 millimeter then it will uh, consider for it will be considered for columns and beams also for slab for the three elements it's okay so uh, that means uh, we can use 90 millimeter slump or 80 millimeter or 70 millimeter for FD or 100 millimeter slump for column beams and slab. That's why 
we are able to use our slant value as that range for both three structure I mean for both three element of that building that's why we can provide the same concrete mix for that beams columns and slab I think it's clear so uh, it's uh, done for today and uh, if you think that that video is helpful for you just press the like button and also share that video as much as possible and uh, if you new here you can watch our previous video and don't forget to uh, support your channel school of civil engineering and if you have any question or query you can mail me or comment me below i will try to discuss about that so thank you thank you very much in next i will come to a with a new video so thank you still stay connected till next video